Keko and Ludovico Orsi. Bored with their leisurely life in the countryside, the Orsi brothers decided to spice things up a little. They started a money-lending business that was extremely successful, mostly because they killed anyone who didn't pay them back. Then, Caterina Sforza hired them to murder her Templar husband, Girolamo Riario, which they did in true cavalier fashion. They rode up to his palace, waltzed into the dining room, stabbed him in the chest, ransacked the estate, and left his naked body in the centre of town. According to Abstergo's files, Rodrigo Borgia, after escaping from Venice, offered to pay them for the recapture of the Peace of Eden. And, of course, Caterina's head. It was the Orsi brothers' idea to kidnap her children. I ask you, what has this world come to when the rich go so bad? Sotto.
to see your boy walk again, Katarina? Give us what we want, or I'll throw him off the edge. Mama, help me! I don't want to be here anymore! Sit down, Marmocchio! Let's go, Katarina. Show yourself! The apple on the map, or your kids are crippled! Sure. Where did he go? He is known to me, but from where? I have to Not you! He's there! Hey, Mr. You won't get away! I need to go to Hello, the bathroom! Brother. Just let me go, please! I've lost sight of you! Oh, per Dio! You the il becco! There he is! Get him! Bastard, merda! He's getting away! <laughs> Stop acting like a baby! Where are your balls? Basta, basta! You're giving me a headache! Katerina was a fool to send you. Or are you the fool, dying for a handful of change? Was it worth it? More than you know, the maestro gains his prize because of me. Mori col tuo orgoglio, per quanto vale. Requiescat in pace. Signore!
Please, friends, some restraint, huh? What are you doing out here? I'm so sorry, Ezio. I'm so sorry. What happened? It was a trick to lower our defenses. As soon as you left, they attacked again. Keko Orsi, he has the apple. What? No! Where is he? We chased him out here. But the bastards escaped into the mountains. I'm going. your prize again was it worth it so much bloodshed <coughs> a prize of such value it will not remain yours for long we shall see che miseria nascono dalla vita requiescat in pace Right. What happened to you? I... I don't know. One of my guards had the luck to find you in the hills. 
Next to Kek Orsi's dead body. See, si. that I remember. Wait, there was a third man. He took the apple. Who? He wore a black robe, like a monk. And I think... a missing finger. See, si. Katerina, I have to go, right away. Of course. Then you will need this as well. The map Nicolo spoke of. Your husband. Ex-husband, mio caro. He swore he'd uncover the locations of all the Codex pages. You will recover the apple, but you will never find the vault without this. You know, there is an abbey in the wetlands near here, where I've seen monks wearing black robes. I'd start there. Now go. Find us a stramaladetto monk. I think I'm going to miss you, Katarina. Oh, I know you will. Next time, then, sir. Watch the priest for politician, twisted words and blind ambition. Meet their match in his. Unjustice! Perhaps you should avoid the deeds that brought you here. No. I may be expensive, but. Your coin seems genuine.
Life expectancy? Uh, about five more years on a wager. Bastardo! Blessings on you, brother. Grazie. I wonder if you can help me. What do you see? A monk in black robes who lacks one of his ten fingers. Well... Brother Guido has only nine toes. You sure it wasn't a toe? Quite sure. And then there's Brother Domenico, but it's his entire left arm he's lacking. Again, quite sure it was a finger. Hmm. Now wait a moment. I do recall a black-robed monk with nine fingers. Yes, of course. When we had our last San Vincenzo's feast at the Abbey. Yes, I know the place. I'll try there. Grazie. Go in peace, brother. I always do.
Excuse me, brother. I wonder if you can... Uh, unholy demon! Get away! What's wrong? You're the one who killed Brother Stefano! Brothers, the killer of monks has returned! Please, no, I don't want to die. I only kill those who kill others, and your brother Stefano was a killer. I'm sure you are no such thing. Now, listen to me. I'm looking for a black-robed monk who's missing a finger. Missing a finger, you say? Do you mean, like, Fra Savonarola? Savonarola? Who is this? You know him? I did. He was one of us, for a time. And then? We suggested he retire to a hermitage for a good long time. I'm afraid to say his retreat has come to an end. Where would he have gone? Oh dear. Santo Spirito? In Firenze? It's where he studied. Perhaps it's where he would return. I thank you. Go with God, brother. Girolamo Savonarola, a Dominican friar from Ferrera, this man took his job seriously. He saw the excesses of his age, the rich stomping the poor into the dirt, the priests selling indulgences to the populace, and he went insane. Calling himself an instrument of God, Savonarola descended on Firenze. His sermons sent people into frenzies. He demanded an end to all personal property, to all progress, a return to Eden. Knowledge became the enemy, and he could erase it all with the piece of Eden at his command. Books, paintings, musical instruments, he burned everything in the bonfire of the vanities. History unraveled as his legions took control, and Firenze descended into darkness. Hey Desmond, I think I repaired that busted memory. Why don't you try opening it? <laughs> 